Hey, what it is, street fame. Y'all already know what time it is. I got one of the females in the city right now. Uh, if y'all don't know, y'all about to know. I got K Ruth in the building. How y'all doing? What it is, K? <laughs> what's up with you? I'm good. I'm blessed. I'm awesome. That's what's up. So I'm a, I'm gonna start out with the first thing. Basically, uh, being a female, like you know, we haven't had too many females in here for interviews. Okay. Not that you know we discriminate. It's just that you know more more so the guys reach out and it's it's a lot of females doing their thing that we reach out to. But you right. Know. Well, I would say to that, it's a I think it's an ego thing, or at the same time, you know, more dudes be it's more male dominated. You know, so it feel good to be a female and get recognition, most definitely. There's a lot of females in the city right now. Um, how, how are you going about standing out? <sighs> standing in my own lane. I, I've been in my own lane. Um, like I said, I started in the church, mm -hmm. preaching when I was nine For years real? old. <laughs> at the podium. I, I didn't you, know that. If you go to the last post on my Instagram page, mm -hmm. you'll see me nine years old at the podium preaching like full out. Like that's what I started. I started doing. and I, you know, still in my word, but singing in the choir and it all came together. Like I'll be at choir rehearsal, picturing myself performing on stage. You know what I'm saying? It's that always been that. So my lane is just staying conscious. You know what I'm saying? I tell my street perspective. I might tell a little bit of religion background. You gonna always hear a message, but I try not to, you know feel like I got to fit in to what everybody else may or may not be doing. But I try to stay versatile at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Well, you're the second person recently that told me that you started in church. That's good. Because you know who else told me that? DJ Turnt told me that, too. DJ Turnt. He started now, see, in church. A lot of DJs, a lot of producers mm -hmm. start in the church. Well, really true. A lot of you people know. that do production, definitely, because, you know, the church has got music, and they start on the drums or the piano right. or the organ you know and they work their way up huh? access to a tool and you never yeah. know so, i knew it was a gift you know so that wasn't that was in your family history so how did your family feel about you transitioning to oh uh, uh, artists they always knew it was in me they always knew that i had something in me that i wanted to speak to people mm -hmm. that i was going you know touch people inspire them and you know i i always knew it would be music from middle school and you know in high school i wasn't out and open about it you know mm -hmm. but Going to college, moved back home. It was like I'm hungry. That's what I gotcha. want. You know what I'm saying. So, so the music that you're doing. With that being said, like, what could people expect when they listen to your music? Like, what kind of? Cause you know, right now you right. got the city girls, and then you got like the stage loaf, and right. then you got like the Megan the Stallion. You know, it's just different right, types right. of styles. I would like, say when you put K, when you put a K Ruth track on, mm -hmm. you and you might be in a certain mode where you want to you want to hear a message. Mm -hmm. You might be in a mode where you want to be uplifted. You know what I'm saying? Or you just might be in a mode where you don't want to hear no no bullshit, nothing negative. You, probably, you might just want to hear something that's mellow mm -hmm. and soothing to the ears. You know what I'm saying? Because I really don't even use a lot of profanity unless I'm in a you know a certain mode yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. So. I always just try to provide like a soothing outlet for people. So really, you know? so really, it's it's more like a a conscious rap, but from a female perspective, you would say a conscious rap, but from a street percept street perspective, I like to call it reality rap. Reality rap. Reality okay. rap, because your reality might be different from my reality, but you know, what I'm saying I'm still telling a story that you can relate to. I got you. you. Know? So that's yeah. good. So so as far as like right now, as far as your music.